Hey, hi everyone. Today we'll see how to configure incremental refresh in Power BI. It is a feature that allows you to refresh only a subset of your data rather than refreshing the entire data set each time. This can be particularly useful when dealing with large data sets, where refreshing the entire data set can be time consuming and resource intensive. We need to follow four steps to configure incremental refresh. Create parameters, filter data, define policy, saving and publishing it to the service. Step 1. Create parameters. In this step, you will use Power Query Editor to create range start and range end parameters with default values. Select transform data on the home ribbon to open Power Query Editor. Select the manage parameter drop down and then choose new parameter. In the name field, enter range start. In the type field, select date time. In the current value field, enter start date. Click OK. Select new to create a second parameter named range end. Choose date time. Enter an end date in a current value. Click OK. Now that you have defined the range start and range end parameters, we'll go to step 2 where you will filter the data to be loaded into the model based on those parameters. With the range start and range end parameter created, you'll now apply filter on your table's date column. In Power Query Editor, select the date column you want to filter on and then choose a drop down arrow. Select date time filter. Select custom filter. In filter rows, to specify the first condition, select is after or equal to. Here, choose parameter and select range start. Then to specify the second condition, choose is before, choose parameter here and then choose range in here. Click OK. Click close and apply. Now the model will have subset of the data loaded with the filters applied. In step 3, we will define an incremental refresh policy for the table. After the model is published to the service, the policy is used by the service to create and manage table partition and perform refresh operations. In data view, right click a table in the data pane and select incremental refresh. In incremental refresh and real time data pane, verify the table selected. Under set import and refresh ranges, move this slider to on. If the slider is disabled, it means the Power Query expression for the table does not include a filter based on range start and range end parameter. In archive data sharing, specify the historical store period you want to include in the model. All rows with dates in this period will be loaded into the model in the service. I'll say 4 years. And in incremental refresh data starting, specify the refresh period. All rows with dates in this period will be refreshed in the model each time a manual or scheduled refresh operation is performed by the Power BI service. Say last three dates. Here you can see the data is imported from Jan 2022 5 2524 and the data will be incrementally refreshed from 5 2624 to 528.24 as we have selected last 3 days. Review your settings and then select apply to complete the refresh policy. Now that your range start and range end parameters, filtering and refresh policy settings are complete, save your model and then publish it to the service.
In the service, refresh the model. The first refresh will load both new and updated data in the refresh period as well as historical data for the entire store period. Subsequent refreshes, whether manual or scheduled, are typically much faster because the incremented refresh policy is applied and only data for the period specified in the refresh policy setting is refreshed. Thanks for watching.